okay guys in this section we are going to discuss about socket programming and this is the socket server main 2.kt and this main 3.kt we will be discussing about the socket client okay in this client this is the i will, will discuss about this later just take a look around the port and the host id and okay this is the port that we specified for the client to join and while true this loop should execute again and again and again and again and this is an endless loop because i'll tell you why while running the program and we are in this loop we are calling a function called alpha alpha and passing this server socket ob object of this server socket class as a this is a built-in class as and its object as a parameter and we are obtaining it this is the return type it's just for fun I'm just showing that uh, just to show at the end this execution is completed and loop is back and this function returned here and this a will be printed so that just to make sure make sure that this execution is completed and this loop is completed that's why and var a colon boolean we are specifying a variable a for just for assigning a value here and we are also here making an endless loop just we have server attack server is this server socket of port number dot accept that's what we are doing that object dot accept accept this is used to accept the client's invitation and when the, or the client request request and printing this socket value which will give the details of the client and this print not print line is used just because we can need to enter the input or, or enter the message to be sent from the client to i'm sorry from the server to the client is here and b equal to read line not not dot to end which takes the input and which is not null if we didn't use this then we need to add a question mark here which has a null safety operator and socket dot is bound will return true to a because it is bound as in socket one dot close is not applied before and after that we applied socket one dot close then socket is closed but a is still true if you break the loop and a is returned here and here is printed now we are going to the client side we not only need to specify the port but also the host id of the server this is this 27.0.0.1 host id is used to get out of this get from this client program and get out of it and also for inside this device and check again we'll come back to the server program with this port that's why we are uh, that's the specialty of this program and this host id you can replace it with your host id of the server device which in case my in which in my case in program for my college project it is raspberry pi 3b plus okay and well scanner we are using scanner for the for uh, send, uh, send uh, for receiving data input stream and there uh, in the server we must receive get output stream dot write of b dot byte array the converting this stream input stream to a byte array and you know, write is to transmit through this output stream that what transmitted through output stream should be get through the input stream and then uh, while this is uh, this is <laughs> this will be true while has lines if it has it'll wait till it has the next line and the scanner dot next line will give you um, data which is sent from the server and also open line and break we are going to see the working first we need to enable the server not the client client if you and i'll show you it'll show you yeah, if you enable client in the first time because okay, it's just running It'll take a little bit of time. Now we got main2.kt and the server started running but waiting for client to come. Here running the client. Client just right because the server is waiting. This is the details of the that we applied here. And this is the port ID of the server. This is the port of the client. Of the port. And also we are sending H E L L O hello guys. 
and the true is returned i'm waiting for the next time once again to a client to join c entry.kt hello guys is king now just run client again run again c again waiting because client came again now this choose another port for the server automatically chooses the auto a different port but client port will be the same and input enter the input like uh this time what we do like foo foo cuddly poops <laughs> okay foo foo cuddly poops is here foo foo cuddly poops then we can run again and again king input you got the input <laughs> okay like that it'll work again and again and again so see ya if you liked my presentation or my video or if it was useful to you please like and hit the like button and share and subscribe to my channel